Fly, Kipe County in Nanyuki, where President William Bruto and his deputy Rigadi Gashagwa are holding a cabinet retreat at the Fairmont Mont Kenya Safari Club, where the retreat seeks to review and evaluate the performance of the Kenya Kwanzaa administration and spell out thematic areas of focus in relation to its campaign pledges. The meeting's agenda, among other things, seeks to find a solution to bring down the high cost of living. It's also expected to focus on the government's economic transformation plan based on priorities such as food security and job creation. Our reporter John Jacob Curie is manning the ground and has a detailed report. Curie, kindly bring us to speed. Thank you very much, uh, Jackie Wambiru, back at Broadcasting House. Like you pointed out, we are at the presidential cabinet retreat that is being held in Laikipia County, Nanyuki, uh, to be specific. And the president is bringing together uh, his members of the cabinet as well as principal secretaries and senior government officials to really talk about the government agenda for the next one year, and that is the year 2023. So the gathering here really is about government business and what interventions need to be done by the government of a public uh, to ensure that indeed uh, the government is able to one bring down the cost of living but indeed also deliver services that are of priority um, to Kenyans and you know the president spoke at length yesterday uh, during his interview the joint media interview um, with six media houses in Kenya and talking about his priority particularly when it comes to lowering the cost of living and ensuring that he elucidates his vision uh, for the country in the next one year, uh, particularly when it comes to lowering the cost of electricity, lowering the cost of UNGA, ensuring that um, there is priority when it comes to mega projects, including the construction of dams, as well as ensuring that there, uh, there is a, uh, what we would say uh, a, a number of acreages in the country that will be under irrigation, that being part of his food security agenda. And therefore, the lineup here is obviously about that agenda. And for the next three or four days is that each ministry will outline its priority for the year 2023. The outlining of the priority, if it is the Ministry of Treasury, what is going to do uh, to bring down the cost of living, again deal with the public debt. If it is the Ministry of Transport, the priority areas but when it comes to opening up the country, in terms of infrastructure and so on and so forth for each ministry. And of course you will know uh, that the Ministry of Treasury, the Ministry of ICT, the Ministry of uh, Infra Infrastructure, and road uh, and agriculture as well and the ministry of water are critical cogs in driving uh, these aspects that the president has said are his priorities in the year 2023 because of easing uh, the burden that lies on the shoulders of kenyans uh, in this year obviously as they're confronted uh, by the high cost of living of course the president is yet to arrive and the deputy president but the tent behind me there is holding cabinet secretaries and of course and you can see uh, behind me is the cabinet secretary for agriculture Agriculture exiting from that. Uh, that's where the cabinet secretaries and the principal secretaries um, are meeting. Uh, but also the private cabinet secretary. Uh, Musale Mudavadi is also in the tent. Uh, so anytime from now, and we're looking at about an hour or so, uh, the arrival of the President of the Republic of Kenya, William Samoy Ruto, as well as his deputy, Rigadi Gashagwe. They will be the chairs of the sessions uh, moving, uh, you know, to or from tomorrow towards the end um, of this congregation. And this meeting does not only bring uh, cabinet secretaries and their principal secretaries uh, together. It also brings senior government officials in the sense of of um, even leaders in critical departments uh, and that was revealed also yesterday as the president did uh, the interview. For example, I've seen um, uh, Chief Justice Emeritus uh, David Kinani Maraga, who you remember is um, leading the task force that will be looking into uh, the salaries and remuneration of police officers. He's also among the officers who are in here, uh, generally to just look at the priority of government in the year 2023 and that will be the discussion. The discussion begins today it goes all the way up until Sunday um, when it concludes of course after tomorrow or from tomorrow uh, being chaired by the president and his deputy and we'll be here obviously monitoring uh, the situation and again uh, we'll be informing our viewers in our subsequent bulletins of what is transpiring uh, in Nanyuki of course as we await the arrival of president Dr. William Samoy Ruto and his deputy Rigavega Shagoba. For now let me hand you back to Jackie Wambiru for the rest of a bulletin. I'm sure there are by-elections in Kandara 
Elgil Marquette as well as Garista Township. And we have uh, our reporters there who obviously have a thing or two to tell us about the exercise so far. Back to you, Jackie.